Hello and welcome my beautiful Cancers. Brenda Tarot here with your general tarot and oracle card forecast for the week of March the 25th to the end of the month the 31st. Well look what I'm wearing today. It says good things happen to those who hustle. So I was guided to put this shirt on today and I'm wearing it because I'm getting a download message today that some of my Cancers need to put themselves out there today and go after whatever it is they want to achieve success in. Okay, let's see what we have here with your reading today. And I'm going to just adjust my camera a little bit here. <clears throat> okay, so starting off with your download message, you do have truth revealed. So you're going to be hearing something that might have puzzled you, might have, um, you know, left you doubtful, uh, wondering what was going on when you'd hear about something. So the truth does come out. So something today is going to reveal itself. And I do believe that you're going to be able to face this. You're going to be glad that any of these concerns or worries uh, you know in your mind are now going to be cleared so something that has left you challenged left you wondering and worrying about a situation you're going to have that over with now you're going to be able to have a clear sight line you're going to know what direction now you can go in beautiful now coming in with your first oracle message you've got new beginning cancer this is beautiful so i do think that you are going to be hustling today you're going to be getting pre prepared to do something uh opening those doors and windows to let all that abundance and let all that new beginning flow in now abundance as you know can come in the form of time effort support uh coming in to assist you with something or even money um but it can be love as well there could be something coming forward in the form of a new relationship that you're going to be very very happy with so there's a new beginning don't be afraid to go out there and hustle and go after it you're going to see the truth revealed now where you have these capabilities resources and energy to do this you got free associate and that's amazing. Allow the first thing that comes into your mind without self-censorship to bestow a vision upon you. So free associate means you have the truth revealed. You now have this new beginning. You have this ability now to know that you can go after what it is you've been wanting to have for a very long time. You are a free associate now. That means you're going to be able to share your energy, your happiness, your goals, your aspirations, and your creative ideas with others and get out there and do it. Wow. Coming in with your last uh, oracle message you've got nothing will come of this situation so um there could be something coming in here because you do have the the uh the five of swords which is that card of feeling defeated and no win situations and don't get involved in anybody else's drama today my beautiful cancers um don't allow yourself to um you know to get caught up in other people's problems today this is a day where you're a free associate and that means you can turn around and say no i'm not going to get into a no-win situation i'm you know they can't fight with themselves right um they need a sparring partner and you're not going to be it today so make up your mind today not to be anybody's uh, sparring partner at all it is it's not going to work out in your favor Okay, coming in in your first row, what have you got? This could be the energy coming in past energy or it could be the beginning of the week energy. You've got the Princess of Wands, which in essence is the Page of Wands. You've got the Strength card and you've got the Six of Pentacles here. So um, there's, you know, you have this ability to move forward and see these new beginnings and opportunities coming in with this with this princess of wands this is an idea or something of inspiration that shows up and it makes you wonder gee maybe i better step into this maybe i better move forward maybe i better look into this maybe i better hustle right so the bell train and as i looked this word up and the bell train means it referred to in you know in ancient times it was the may festival the may day festival type of thing so there could be something very profound happening to you in may now if i'm correct i think this card came up for aries as well so you might want to connect and look at the aries reading too there could be a connection there with some of you cancers now the strength card comes in and it says you're stronger than you really believe you are you have this ability to step up there even at the darkest of times and realize that you can move forward and overcome any obstacles 
Now, remember when I talked about you not becoming and allowing yourself to become anybody's sparring partner. In other words, don't get caught up in other people's drama, their crap, and get into a, a heated discussion with someone, somebody that isn't going to bring you any satisfaction. So the strength card says when you are dealing with people today, you're going to be more diplomatic, understanding, articulate, and very... Um, uh, mindful of how you say things today uh, you're not going to get caught up in the heat of the moment and spew things off with the roar of the lion and then you know regret it later you're going to turn your back on that energy and you're going to be looking at things in a kinder more compassionate way you can catch more bees with vinegar than you ever will with with um, you know with, you can catch more bees with honey than you ever will with vinegar my mind's racing ahead of itself so this is crazy downloads come in very quickly so okay so you're stronger than you actually believe you are because you've held on for a very long time here dealing with challenges throughout you know the last few years but now nothing's going to hold you back you're going to be able to step out there and hold your head high and square those shoulders and move in a positive direction um, the six of pentacles is a gift coming in for you time effort support money uh, opportunities love anything coming in here but we often think of pentacles as the material part of our lives in the deck and it can be money it can be somebody coming in and doing something generous for you you might be getting some help from somebody which is going to say hey i know about a job that you might like and you're going to get paid more for it or it'll be better for you um this could also be just receiving something out of somebody's charitable heart they're giving you something uh, you know they're helping you with something here there's going to be some negotiations maybe you're going to be discussing something that's contract where you maybe are going to be taking on a new job where you're going to be reading all the details and you're going to see what you can get when you uh, what you will be able to achieve and what you will be able to attain six of pentacles is that card of gifts push pull energy um, you know good negotiations back and forth discussions and you know give and take but it can also be you giving someone lending somebody something of your time support and maybe money for somebody as well sometimes this card can have to do with dealing with nonprofit or organizations if you're out there doing some charitable acts in your community coming in in the center position uh, could be the middle of the week or what you're feeling now you have the universe which is the world you have the rebirth which is the uh, which is uh, the beautiful card of this is a judgment card. This means that you're looking at things, you're reevaluating things, you're making a decision to move in a new direction, to leave something behind. This is like rebirth, getting a second chance at something. When you thought that something wasn't attainable or going to come into you, you now are able to see that you can move forward. Rebirth is beautiful. You're a free associate now and you have this new beginning coming in. So move forward. Hold your head high, as I said. You, The universe is yours here. This is the world, and the world is telling you that you now have the ability to, to end a cycle and, font and go into a new one. The Princess of Pentacles is the Prince of Pentacles or pardon me, the page of pentacles, which means there's a new beginning coming into you. And it could be the offer of money or a new job or a position or a job title, which is going to make you feel good. So you're hearing about finances in some form or another, which is going to make you feel great. You could be doing something yourself. You could be hustling and going after something. Remember I said hustle. Hustling and going after a project or a new job yourself. Uh, you could be actively pursuing that, which you want to make more money. You want to have better benefits and things the universe is as i said the world is telling you that it's going to be the end of a cycle now and you're going to be emerging into a new one and we are coming into the end of march so there could be something new coming into you in april where you're going to find that you will be able to move forward in that direction it's a card of travel too you could be deciding that you you're going to go the distance both physically or emotionally towards a goal but you could be packing your bags to take a small trip or a vacation going somewhere of a distance as well but it's a card of good energy you know i do think that you're moving forward i think you've got a second chance at something that you might have thought you wouldn't and you uh you know you're going to hear good news about finances or being able to uh discuss with someone here with the with the uh the six of pentacles uh you know negotiating here for that for more money Coming in at the end of the month, you have, which could be the, pardon me, the end of the week. Uh, you could, this could be the energy coming in, future energy, or the end of the week, right? You've got the five of swords, you've got the three of wands, and you've got the king of wands. So um, <clears throat> the thing here is you're going to, if you stay focused and don't allow yourself to, uh, you know, 
feel victimized or that you can't do do this goal this week stay focused on it don't give up uh put your mind to it you will see that you you'll get some headway here the truth is going to be revealed you're going to feel freer than ever before in this new beginning but don't back down i mean he is the king of fire i mean he's standing there amongst all that fire with his back to it and he doesn't care he he's he's ahead of that fire he's going after his goals he's focused on it and he's totally oblivious to anything else around him so stand in your fire my at your fire as well my beautiful cancer i know you're a water sign but don't allow yourself to to feel yourself uh you know your light and your fire being ignited being um you know diminished here okay uh you are the water sign and you have that ability you can put that fire out and you don't want to do that you want to have that energy within you to go after your goals this week the three of wands is you'll have reason to celebrate something okay this is a card of, of having a good foundation and feeling as though wow i'm okay here good foundation within your family circle your your communication with them uh you know the contacts around you being in that circle of friends family chosen family and friends um being able to celebrate something here somebody could be moving back home returning to the home base as well so get ready to celebrate something it could be an event an occasion something beautiful that you want to celebrate with your family and community the five of swords says mm, yeah yeah, you know, the, again, this is the card of defeat. Don't get involved in other people's drama. Don't allow yourself to get uh, sucked into uh, other people's debates and arguments. And try to avoid any, <clears throat> try to avoid any uh, discussions or, um, you know, arguments of any kind here. Okay, because it's a no-win situation. However, this is a card of being bullied. You may feel as though somebody's poking you constantly, where you feel that you're backed up against the wall, and you do want to come out fighting. But the best thing for you to do is just move on and don't allow their their energy to diminish your beautiful, beautiful, uh, your beautiful energy, my beautiful cancers. Okay, so let's see what we have here in addition to this reading. So, you know, they're, they're, you're free now. It looks like there's going to be some freedom here to start a brand new beginning here. And it's beautiful. And now it may come in in May um, or not. But I do, I do see something happening uh, in May that's going to be special for you. And it might be a time to celebrate something and move forward in a new direction. It's a second chance for some of you. And um, just don't get caught up in other people's battles because there's not going to be anything that will come of that situation if you do so beautiful card truth is going to be revealed and we know when the truth is revealed it frees frees all of us when it happens in our lives so coming in with that princess of wands you do have lots of choices and decisions that you're going to be subjected to having to step up and do so picking and choosing what's the best option for yourself is what's going to come into play this week so whatever this has to do uh you're definitely going to have to seriously consider what how is this going to affect me on the long term Okay, is this going to last the test of time? Am I getting the best return on this? And then you'll be able to make that decision. Coming in with your strength card, you've got the high priestess doing your research. Um, you know, remember I had said to you, do your research here. Um, delve deep. Go after what it is you need to know before you move forward. Um, you know, often I say that with with a hangman but i do think here with this strength card you're going to be looking at things from a very different angle and that means you could be finding out information uh you know that is going to benefit you to move forward towards a goal that you're working towards here so um you know do your research don't sit there uh idle i, I they're telling me you need to be hustling this week and you need to be proactive doing what it is you want to find a success and a return in this week coming in with a bounty you've got the hermit the hermit says you're getting a Advice from somebody and it could be a teacher or somebody that you look up to a mentor somebody who has wise counsel and information on a topic or a subject that you're interested in um, once you get that information and the truth is revealed and you're then you're able to see light at the end of the tunnel again you're going to be able to move forward you could be learning a new uh, something new as well that's going to benefit other people where you're going to be able to teach preach and convey information to them and light the path for them as well often this card is referred to pulling back taking a time out doing some meditative work taking care of you on a soul level maybe you're going to be doing you're going on a soul search for yourself still trying to uh take yourself to that place where you know you want to be 
Coming in with the universe, which is the world card, you've got the justice card. So twice this has shown up here. Definitely moving on. I do think that justice is going to be waved in your favor and you're going to be able to move forward in a new direction. Um, this is a card that says, you know, if you're dealing with any legal issues, uh, that things, um, you know, will, will be better for you. The truth is going to be revealed and now you've got that chance to move forward. With the rebirth card, which is the exactly the justice card, you've got the ace of rods taking action. You know, the ace of a, pardon me, Ace of Swords is that card that says justice is done. You know, it's it. You've got victory here. You fought a hard battle, but at the end of the day, you slew the dragon, and now you, you're ahead of the game, and you can go forward feeling safe and and feeling you have a new beginning, and feeling that you can go after what it is you want. Uh, you know, beautiful card uh, saying, you know, you fought a hard battle, but you came out ahead. And it could have been a legal situation. Oops, look what we got here on the page of Pentacles. We've got somebody here who's deceptive. Uh, this is the card of the Seven of of Swords. And that means there could be somebody around here uh, that is, you know... Um, shadowing you, uh, you know, in the background, uh, in the shadows. Uh, they're jealous. They're envious. Uh, they could be wanting to spy on you, see what you're up to. Or they could have deceived you. Somebody, you, you know, somebody could have, this is a card of liar, cheater, uh, you know, the betrayal card. Um, but I always look at this, you know, that somebody might be jealous of what you have. And um, they get caught at the end of the day, okay? Tr the truth is revealed. They, they get caught at the end of the day. Um, coming in next, you have with the Five of Swords, you have the Five of Pentacles. So again, this is a card of feeling that, you know, you're left out in the dark. You might have felt that you had to handle everything on your own. And also you could be feeling it's a card of bankruptcy, lack and loss and, um, you know, depression over money. There are doors of opportunity here and possibilities for you to go after. So, um, you know, do your research here, okay, um, to seek the advice and the help that you need. Okay, uh, that's what that's about. And it usually says, you know, when I see this Five of Pentacles, it is the card of challenge, but it's also the card that says you'll have the resources if you go after them to, to uh, you know, to get over these problems. So, you, you know, you'll be able to resolve them. Coming in with the Three of Wands, you've got that beautiful card, the Chariot. So you're a champion, my beautiful Cancers, in your own right. So there is going to be a reason to celebrate something here. And, you know, there might have been something here that, that you know, you went after and you you came out ahead of the game. Uh, this is a card of being a champion, going in. He goes in, you know, to the arena, knows there's risks and consequences, but he, he's done his research. He's done his work and he's confident. He just goes in there and comes out a winner. So you're going to find that you're going to be getting, um, you know, there's going to be attention generated towards you in a situation and it's going to be uh, quite uh, quite a time of celebration when it does coming in with the king of wands you have the empress yeah okay the empress is wanting beautiful things ultimate mother uh, what she what she nurtures she sees growth so find it find out what it is you want to do most of all and then go after it and nurture it Put all your attention into it. Focus everything you've got into it here with this King of Wands. And you'll see that things will grow and nurture. Uh, and will grow from your nurturing. But you could also be spending some time this week with your family, your grandkids, your children. Family in general. Wanting to nurture them and be there. Maybe you're asked to babysit a sick child this week or something. With the flu or whatever. Uh, or babysit their fur baby. Or whatever the case is. I think that you're going to find that you will be nurturing uh, people as well as maybe a goal you really want to see come to fruition and if you do nurture it you will okay my beautiful beautiful cancers this is your reading for this week of march the 25th and it's very interesting but there is a new beginning coming in and it's going to be a beautiful one i wish you a great day a great week and know that i send you lots of love and many blessings and i'll see you soon my beautiful cancers